Welcome back everybody and today I just wanted to show you something which I put together uh, last night It was just something because I've been watching this anime called Last Exile. It's pretty cool steampunk anime. Check it out um, Just wanted to show you this I couldn't find I wanted to make the main van ship from the anime that the sort of hero characters the protagonists use and it was based upon a World War II fighter. Now I couldn't find that fighter, but I found another one from the same series, the Junker, um, and base or Junkers, sorry. And so I'm um, just gonna show you quickly what I'm trying to recreate from this model. That's the basic model I started with, and that is Klaus's van ship. Um, obviously steampunk, so it's not using conventional propulsion, but uh, we're doing this for a little mini game. I'm gonna speed it up, so, um, I'm just going to show you now. It's going to be a Smedit speed edit <laughs> um, because of what I'm going to be doing here is showing you what I've done. I've, I've sort of started using the, a whole sculpting sort of uh, approach to this. So I have created this model the correct length, accounting uh, for chopping off the tail and the engine, um, so that when finished, it'll be the right length, or roughly uh, the right length, so it'll be one to one scale when I'm done. Effectively, I'm going to paint white over the grey and then use the replace blocks command to actually replace the white with air. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue that process all the way around and sculpt this model into what I want it to be. Using this method, you can pretty much make anything you want from anything you want. Um, and there is much more than this. I just wanted to touch on this technique um, because it's, you know, it's a pretty useful technique. Um, so I'm going to speed it up now and I will catch up with you in a second. Interestingly, just there you saw one wing disappear, but the other one didn't, and that would be because one was highlighted, so I had to go select none after I was done with that. So if you're paying attention to the, um, to the image, or if you've seen the show, you'll know that um, you just got to sort of, you know, fix the tail, remove the props, Shave the wings off, hollow out the tail piece here for the uh, for the propulsion method. <clears throat> They're kind of like pipes with a disc at the end. And then obviously I've gone around the model and just sort of seen if it's not symmetrical and fixed all that up there too. Shaved a little bit off the bottom. And so we're going well. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit, shave some off the bottom of the wings there. And so we finally get to the canopy side of things, uh, the top section, and I had a little bit of fun uh, with that. So what we're going to do here is a little different from earlier. I've selected the bits I want, the glass, and now I'm going to replace white with plexglass. And that will give me the canopy that I want. Um, yep, white hull. And then, yeah, plexglass would be a great thing right now. Looks like I must have wandered off. <laughs> so there we go. Glass, plexstanium. And you'll note now that it's not hollow. So the first thing I do is hollow out the ship. And then I harden the ship. And then I smooth the ship. Now, I do smooth wedges and corners on the outside. But it, it's put in a few where I don't want them. <clears throat> so I'm going to highlight them in white now. And they will be removed in single player. So I'm sort of earmarking bits for removal here. And I don't think that the replace works with wedges in Smedit, so I have not used that. Uh, just mark it and move on. 
have a little look around, see if there's anything else. I think that's pretty much done, so I'm just going to save it now and take it back to uh, take it back to the game. See, uh, see what it looks like. I think in the end I did actually shave a bit off the uh, cockpit so that it sticks up a bit more and seems thinner. <clears throat> so, saving as van ship one to one. Right, so let's get back into StarMade and check it out. As you can see, it came out really well and doesn't bear much resemblance to the original model anymore. There's a few bits and pieces that I need to tweak on this model just to sort of remove a few wedges here and there. Um, and then obviously put the internals in, but with such a small ship, this is going to be done in no time. It's going to be part of a Last Exile style air warship or space warship dueling mini game, which I had the idea last night. We've already got all the ships. I've just got to fit them out. So if you're wondering why I haven't finished my repair ship speed build, I will be returning to that. This is just something else to keep me occupied. And uh, yeah, I think it came out OK. Um, like I say, you're going to tweak it a little bit, change a few colors on the uh, wheel section, put the internals in. But pretty much this is uh, very much close to completion. So. That was the result, and I uh, couldn't have done it without some edits, so special thanks to Joe. Thanks for watching.